Greetings and salutations, my lovely little fightlings. My name is Wiggy, and today I'll be talking about Maple Story 2. Now, if you didn't know, Maple Story 2 is currently only released in Korea and China and some other Asian countries. Now, there wasn't really any hope of us Westerners ever being able to get our hands on this and playing it for ourselves, as the Korean registration required Korean ID, which is generally hard to get, if not impossible, if you're not a Korean or you actually pay for it. But there was a Chinese version, which was completely different. It didn't require a Korean ID as it was Chinese. It only requires a QQ count, which is generally easier to get than a Korean ID. But once again, it was in closed beta testing, so we could still not actually play it. But now it's finally going to be entering its open beta by September the 21st, which is great news because that means you can freely play it, even if you're a Westerner, as Chinese games don't usually require you to use a VPN. So literally all you'll need is a QQ account and you're set to go and download this game. Now I do have a guide as to how to set up your QQ account in my previous Monster Hunter Online guide video, which I talked about how to install Monster Hunter Online through Tencent and getting a QQ account. But I will probably make an updated guide since some people were getting confused regarding the phone activation, some people were getting errors, and I didn't really go into much detail as to how to fix those issues in the video. So I'll probably be making an update one for people who can't follow that guide. Now, like I said, if you do have a QQ account, you will be able to play MapleStory Online 2. You will also be able to play the other games from Tencent, like the MMORPG Moonlight Blade, and as previously mentioned, Monster Hunter Online. Now, if you're not entirely sure what MapleStory 2 Online is all about, instead of being a 2D side-scrolling anime MMORPG with action combat and being relatively repetitive, but at the same time, quite addictively fun, MapleStory 2 does away with the 2D style and goes for a full 3D world, but it still keeps its cutesy anime-ish style. Now going back to the QQ department, since this will literally be the only thing that actually manages to stop you from being able to play this game. As I mentioned, there is a Monster Hunter video with the QQ registration, which I will be posting a link to the description and I will post at what point in the video I talk about the QQ registration, but it will take some time to get done as I'm going to be going over some of the errors and issues you may encounter if something goes wrong during this as I didn't go into too much detail in my previous one. As I didn't personally encounter any issues back then, I thought it would be pretty smooth sailing. Turns out some people actually had quite a few issues. But generally this video was kind of to update and alert you guys that MapleStory 2 will be playable for us if you can deal with the Chinese text very, very soon. And I know, I know for a fact there's a ton of people that have been waiting to play MapleStory 2, but they never had the option. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. It was very short. I wanted to kind of get to the point about this video. I didn't want to beat around the bush, so to speak. And I will try to have an updated QQ registration video up as soon as I can. But like I said, I want to make sure everything is right. So as always, good day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are. And I will see you guys in the next video. We fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down.